Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. In today's video, we are going to discuss, you know, another interesting challenge that was asked in a recent interview. The top N you know, of our region selected. So I think we might have done this a number of times, but this is with a little twist. Now suppose a user has an option to select uh, a region here. Okay. And I'm trying to find out the top 10 uh, sales per state for each state uh, based on region selected but here the requirement is like if i select to one region it should show me 10 if i select again two regions it should show me 10 which means the number of states that i select should always remain 10 based on you know whatever i am selecting here automatically it should take those regions and on top of those regions it has to give me top 10 values that is the twist here so generally now see here if i am selecting central i'm getting top 10 right so top 10 for this central region with respect to state if i'm selecting east region again my values are remaining 10 only but on these two regions it is trying to compute and give me with the values if i select east it is still that if it is west it is still that so that is the requirement so this was recently asked in one of the you know very uh, big companies so i wanted to cover this today so let us try to implement this so the first thing that we need to do is bring in whatever the dimension and measure we need so i'm just bringing in the region field that we need because for each region i i have a state so i'm bringing that as well and i have sales so this is the these are the requirements we have uh, okay so i'll add it here itself and i'll make it discrete now for each region selected i want top 10 okay so generally because user has the option to select the region i am taking that as well and uh, i'm adding it here and i'm clicking on show filter we got that now we want top 10 based on state like for each state right so i'm taking state also and i'm just adding it here itself and i'm going to top by field okay top 10 by sales apply okay okay now you see it is showing us top 10 now okay so I'm, i'll just add uh, create rank of I'll just add it to the view now it is computed across all the regions now the problem is if i select only one region it will show me only three because that is what it has it is not computing only with respect to the central region now the challenge here is when i select only one region it has to show me top 10 states for the central region but it is not showing me if i select each east it has to show me top 10 for east that is not happening so the simple solution to this problem is we can do this using uh, the context filter option you can simply add a region to context now once we do that you see if i select central i'm getting top 10 for my central region now what is happening this filter is being passed and on this filtered data whatever is coming out that data is passed on to this filter top 10 that is when you're getting top 10 filters here so again i'm going to east i'm getting only east if i select south i'll get south and if i select multiple regions you know it will try to compute on multiple regions so this way you can solve this tricky question in the view and and stay ahead of the others i hope you have found this video interesting if it does don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you have any alternate solution to this problem you can you know post it in the comment section so that others can you know learn from that and this is not the only way we can do that okay so try to explore alternate options so that you know you know how in how many ways we can approach and solve so do let me know 
you know how you think you can solve this problem other than what we have discussed see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day